Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be running Jay Cho's team that I featured the other day uh, with Chris Celia with Cycle Cut, uh, Moonblast and Future Sight, uh, Alolan Muck with the standard moveset, Snarl, uh, Dark Pulse and Sludge Wave and then uh, um, <laughs> Escavalier, Escavalier as people like to say. Uh, so decent matchup. Um, you know, I tend not to shield too much on this one, which I think is a little bit of a mistake. And I think it's like it's good to fish for the boost. Uh, if you can get it, that's great. Uh, but then it ends up like slightly costing you the the one shield matchup with uh, with no bait. So um, gonna go for the moon blast and then end this matchup with um, shielding once and then going for the future site. So I'm gonna shield. And then hit the future site. And then if they don't shield, then that's great. If they do, that's great too. Um, and then I expect the to get farmed down by shift tree. I'm gonna switch out into a scavalier. Um, especially since it has like such a favorable matchup when it has an energy, uh, when it has energy. So even they switch to Swamper. Unless they switch into fire, then then obviously I would have been screwed there, but um, I was okay. Um, with that, um, but they end up having Registeel, um, Registeel Giratina, like, I don't know, it's like pretty standard. Uh, they are gonna attempt to, they're just gonna flash cannon me, and then I have Alolan Muck, uh, Alolan Muck is, just needs to hit two Dark Pulses, they need to hit three charge moves in order, in order to, um, to win. Uh, so I'm gonna let this go through. Well, not that I have much of a choice. Focus blast, and I'm gonna go in, be able to hit this dark pulse before the flash cannon comes through, and able to take that match. So this second match, I'm gonna skip over it um, in a little bit, but I'm not really sure what happened in this match. So, anyways, I'm waiting. Pretty standard. Uh, I apologize to my opponent though, that would happen like. Um, Fuji Master 24. So I'm starting to mouth off. I'm like, okay, I need to hit the the future site. Then I realize that they're lagging, and then I just like wait, I wait, and I'm like, okay, maybe they're like in that situation where they're frozen until I do a charge move. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a charge move, and I'm on the phone with my friend at the same time while battling. Um, so okay, yeah, okay, we're experiencing lag. I get it, I get it, okay, cool. Maybe things will be back to normal afterwards. No, they are not. And then I basically this whole match gets lagged out, so I'm gonna just skip over it. Going into, uh, I apologize to my opponent, this yeah, looked like it would have been a pretty decent match. So I'm gonna go um, Cresselia into Lapras. Uh, so obviously I have to be careful. Uh, Lapras is quite bulky. But these future sites do so much damage. It's a pretty nice move on Cresselia's side. And here comes the Skull Bash. They actually go for the Skull Bash. Gonna be able to raise their defense by one stage. And do a pretty decent amount of damage. That definitely, uh, these Psycho Cuts would have KO'd without it beforehand. So I'm hoping that's not another Skull Bash. Ends up being a Surf. And then I hit this Psycho Cut. Uh, and then into the future site. And then I actually won the CMP tie, which is actually a little bit surprising. I thought that um, um, that uh, Lapras would beat. Uh, and then here comes Cresselia. And then here comes the Megahorn. This Megahorn is going to do a lot of damage. With that buff, Megahorn, so nice. Really nice. Um, resist, but you'll see how squishy a Skyvalier is. It still does a lot of damage. I'm expecting the shield to come up. It does come up. I'm gonna switch over to Alolan Muck, and then gonna be met by by uh, Weavile. Very spicy pick. I like this team. Um, it doesn't not enough to KO. If that was a gunk shot, then definitely would have KO'd. Uh, but definitely missing some of that punching power. And then they go into uh, end up. See, they end up foul playing me. Uh, I think I would have survived that foul play. Not sure why they went for foul play. Uh, same amount of. Um, energy as uh as avalanche so anyways gonna land 
this Dark Pulse and able to to win uh, that particular matchup. So GG. And we're going to go into the next match. And a favorable matchup for me. I'm trying to look at this match. Swampert into Cresselia. Imagine how much more devastating Swampert would be with if the Hydro Cannon didn't get nerfed. Um, yeah, so Swampert actually wins this in the two shield matchup. It can win with like. Um, it's very close in the, no, it's not particularly, gonna let this go. And I actually beat them to the charge move, which I actually find kind of weird. Um, obviously they're farming up quite a bit. I'm gonna let it go, realizing I'm not in a great situation. I'm gonna go into Escavalier, hoping to KO, which I do. They definitely had a Hydro Can ready, and not a great matchup. Uh, not a these counters are double resisted, um, and we're lagging a little bit. Oh, okay, we're reconnectioning, and then the aerial ice ends up dis. And then we basically restart. I don't. I have no idea what happened. That that was such a strange air. Um, I am honestly kind of uh, flabbergasted at what happened there. And then I go for the Mega Horn. Um, if I drill run, this would be better, but I don't. Um, and I win the CMP tie. And I'm going to get in a very good situation up a shield um, against uh, Registeel. Should be able to land this Dark Pulse and then just need to land one more. Going to put up the shield, uh, likely just a Flash Cannon which it is and going for another dark pulse really like this team um it obviously a scavalier is very swishy um so but uh it the counters do some like legit damage and mega horn buff is, is pretty amazing So we're going into the next match. Um, Typhlosion. Typhlosion is actually really bad for this team. So I'm actually kind of thankful that they switched out because I got a little bit of energy generation and I'm not going to shield. I think they actually just only go for the Leaf Blade, which I actually found kind of weird. And they go for another. Oh, they are going for the Foul Play. Okay. Which is fine because um, I don't want this Typhlosion to farm up too much energy. Uh, oh, and they end up going into Giratina, and I tried to go for the Mega Horn. I got a little greedy there. I should have went just for the air lace. I don't know why. I think I could have survived that. Uh, so this is the... Okay, so that's actually okay. This is the matchup that I kind of want anyways, and they, they end up uh, not shielding, and then I was hoping to tank the Blast Burn uh, with Cresselia. And then I'm in, I mean, this is a tricky situation. And then they end up shielding. Uh, I can't remember if I end up shielding. I, I do end up shielding because I want to get to this uh, future site. But now I'm so low that they can basically almost shadow claw me down. But Cresselia is a monster. It'd be very difficult to shadow claw down. And, uh, which, which they do, okay. They talk too much smack there. I was like, oh, you can't farm down. Cresselia, and then they end up going for um, the Ancient Power, and they go for Ancient Power again. To be honest, I think like they actually had a pretty straightforward win if they went straight Dragon Claw, because they definitely would land a Dragon Claw there. And I don't know if I get KO'd. Uh, well, maybe I would have won anyways, but if they get the boost, then they win. But in a pretty decent situation, I'm thank goodness they switched out that Typhlosion. Typhlosion. I would have had to stay in with that Typhlosion, and it would not have been pretty at all. Um, I think I lose the race to the charge move. 
Um, well, Typhlosion ends up with 8 HP left. It actually loses into shield. So maybe that's not so bad. I end up in the Cresselia Mirror Match. And they get the Psycho Cut to go through. And they Moonblast me. And uh, they're definitely ahead. They're playing it like they, they're not ahead, but they actually are. Um, uh, I win CMP, but um, you're going to see that I'm pretty sure they come out ahead in the situation. Go for the Moonblast. And obviously now it's the race to the future site. And they they absolutely destroyed me to this okay which is fine because uh, again x cavalier with energy is very deadly and these psycho cuts basically do nothing i'm like please and then <laughs> i let it go through uh which may be a mistake it does a lot of damage um and i'm like please no fire please no fire in the coming um uh into swampert and i'm like please go through nope does not go through um so I have quite a bit of energy built up, so I'm gonna. I'm hoping that this Mega Horn goes through because I really need to get rid of this uh, Swamper. And then I side shield. I'm like, they must have a Reg Steel in the back. They must. They absolutely must have a Reg Steel in the back, and they do. And I'm gonna go for this Mega Horn just to chip away a little bit. And I'm like, this is gonna be very close. Uh, I am absolutely mauling this uh, this Reg Steel. They are up a shield though, and I kind of need to land um, two, maybe three. So they end up shielding. Um, it's going to be very close. I actually think if they double focus blast me, they end up winning, I'm pretty sure. Well, I think I'm end up losing this match anyway, so I'm pretty sure I end up losing this match, yeah, because they're going to focus blast me. Yeah. Oh, which actually ended up being super close so super gg uh very well played i probably should have switched out earlier and then conserved the x cavalier uh because i doubt that they could uh, really farm down my um alolan muck so gg going up against a uh, caleb peng uh so decent matchup for me it actually switches out into uh uh and I was really afraid. I don't know why I shield this. I was really afraid of the close combat. And I don't. I let this go. Ends up just being a Night Slash. I guess I would have to shield maybe one of them. I'm going to undercharge this so I can build up a little bit of energy. Actually, shields. And I'm like, okay, that, that's definitely a mistake there just because the counter is doing so much damage. And I'm like, Mega Horn time. Let's see. Uh, doesn't shield. Man, that could have been a drill run. Um, so here comes um, Cresselia into the shift tree, and then I switch out, and then I'm in a very positive matchup. These leaf blades are going to be kind of annoying to deal with, but in a yeah decent matchup, decent situation still. So here comes the leaf blades, and I'm going to go straight for the sludge wave, and this should KO. And then yeah, I'm in a very positive situation right now. Going to go straight for. This Dark Pulse, uh, Kale Loring knows that this matchup is over. So Escavalier coming through in the clutch. Um, obviously the close combat would have really hurt, but uh, wasn't farming and fishing for it. So I don't want to be paired up with Caleb again. Uh, I have a very favorable team against his, but I don't want to, you know, it's not a particularly great situation. Okay, so... Next matchup, Polyrath into Cresselia. And then here comes Regis Steel. And obviously I need to be careful of this Focus Blast. And they go for the Focus Blast, which is fine. And I'm going for the Mega Horn. Which doesn't KO. And I'm like, okay, might as well just let this go. Ends up just being a Flash Cannon. They definitely could have got to um, a Focus Blast, but... And here comes... Oh, man, I wish I landed this this uh, Mega Horn. And then uh, I'm like, okay, maybe they don't realize how much Mega Horn's going to do. And, man, it almost one-shots that, that uh, Mewtwo. 
So I am going getting to this aerial ace anyways, which is amazing. And and then I go to Cresselia, and here comes the future site. And they shield, and then they, they actually um, quit out the match. Not uh, trying to be wise with my words. Uh, I gotta always be careful with what I say. Uh, so they leave the match knowing that it's inevitable and actually get paired up with the same person. Same person? I think they use a different team though. No, they do not. But they play this out differently. So they go into, they actually play this out quite nice. I really like this. They actually had no idea how to and muck. So they go into Armored Mewtwo hoping that they don't have a counter. And look at here, I was like, mm, this is just a dynamic punch. They actually earthquake me. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Well played on, on their side. Uh, so I go for the Dark Pulse. At least I grab a shield advantage. Uh, and I'm not able to get to it. They have a lot of energy, but what are they going to do to hurt Cresselia? So they go for the Earthquake. Doesn't do very much. I don't want to get hit by another charge move. So I'm going to... It doesn't matter. This is going to KO anyways. Oh, it actually doesn't KO. Allows me to farm up a little bit. I think they were surprised that I didn't KO. And then here comes Registeel. I just want to chip away at this uh, Registeel. And hopefully have them burn a charge move. Again, I'm just chipping away. I don't need that much health to be able to beat. <laughs> I probably need a little bit more health than this, though. Um, they flash cannon. And I'm going to go for... No, I'm basically sacrificing this uh, Cresselia. Uh, and I'm going to let it go. I put this Registeel at super low health. And then I'm going to go into uh, Excavalier. Excavalier. Um, what do I do here? Side to shield. And then here comes... Polyrath, and they actually decide to not shield this. So I'm like, okay, yep, I see what my I see what my window is. They end up going. It looked like it was just an ice punch, and I was like, okay, um, a shield, dynamic punch definitely would have did a lot of damage. And then I'm just gonna farm down, and then I'm gonna farm down this uh, Registeel. So I take that match. Definitely, if they shielded the Aerialist, I would have been in a lot of trouble. Uh, again, I don't want to be right up with the same person again, um, but we're going to see where who we're going to be paired up with. I think we did like 15 matches with this team. I really like this team. I think it's a great team. Uh, so the way I saw Jay Cho play this is that he landed the Moon Blast and then switched out. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. And they switch out into Escavalier. They're not really sure what to do. They go into Giratina, which is actually not pretty terrible for me, uh, especially since I don't have Drill Run. Uh, but these Mega Horns are adding up, and as well, if they because they probably don't realize that Escavalier is a Steel type, even though it's like, and or they, maybe they don't recognize it as a Bug type, because the uh, Ancient Power definitely would be better. Normally, people are going for Ancient Power, even though it's a, the less efficient move. And um, they don't let me get off another charge move. Probably nice, probably the right play on their side. Um, and I'm going to go into Alolan Muck. And here comes the Ancient Power. And I'm going to go into Cresselia. I have no idea why I did that. But maybe because it has such a poor matchup against Alolan Muck, I want to farm down. Uh, and I'm going to let this go. And leaves me with almost no health left. And I'm going to go into... I think they actually go into Venusaur. I was like, oh god, please shield. Please shield. For the love of god, please shield. Um, okay, so I'm in a tricky situation right now still. Because I'm against this Alol other Alolan Muck. And I decide to shield. I, I definitely misplayed this. I should have Sludge Waved. Um... Yeah, yeah, you miss a massive misplay on my side. Uh, I end up shielding. And they switch out into their own Alolan Muck. 
yeah, I think I ended up losing this. Um, so I Dark Pulse as well. And I think they get to it before I do. And yeah, well played on their side. Not Sludge Waving there was, uh, or even going for the Sludge Wave. No, I wouldn't have made it. Uh, so GG, well played. I would have lost even worse if it, if if they did ancient power. So kind of grateful there. Um, and they're going for. Let's see what they're going for. Surf. Okay. And then they go for the back to back surf. Nice job. And I'm going for another another future site. Uh, which is definitely chugging away at this Lapras and I get it. I think they're over farming. I think they're trying to build it for two uh, Which puts them in a not great situation and I think they go for the surf and they have to go for another one or else I'm gonna uh, Perhaps psycho cut probably not but it was way too risky on their side So now I'm up a shield and I have energy. Let's see what they have. They go into Meganium and I was like, okay, for sure they're gonna shield this. There's no way they don't shield. <laughs> I was like, uh, she just went for Megahorn, uh, which is fine. Uh, I'm worried about Earthquake. Ends up just being a Frenzy Plant, which I double resist, which is great. Um, and I'm gonna shield, because I'm pretty sure this is an Earthquake, which it is. And then they go into Registeel. My always Registeel on the back. <laughs> I'm not sure why there's so much Frigid Steel in the back. And I'm just going to shield. And I think I Mega Horn again to KO. And then I counter down this uh, Meganium. Oh, it survives. And I counter down uh, to take that game. Do, 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 do. Okay, going it's Jordan. So I was like, okay, go into Excavalier, even though these Smackdowns are really hurting. And they go into Swampert. I'm like, please don't shield this Megahorn. They end up shielding the Megahorn. And I let this go, because I know it's not gonna KO. It puts me dangerously low, and then they end up um, going to back to back. And then I go for the Megahorn. Uh, this will KO. And they, they recognize that. Uh, so I end up going into Cresselia. These, um, I'm not going to do a ton of damage with this. So they go for back to back, which actually does adds up to quite a bit of damage. And I am going to land the future site. And I'm like, okay, I want to land the future site before they land a charge move. And I'm like, please don't KO. There's no way. There's no way. Oh man, I survived with one HP, which is amazing, amazing. And I go into Lolan Muck. They actually go into Venusaur. I was like, oh, that's great for me. I don't know why. I guess I have to Sludge Wave and Dark Pulse. So, um, and I shield. I don't shield. I really should have shielded to be honest. But uh, I'm gonna have to shield one of these anyways. And then I, I just need to farm up a little bit. Don't want to farm out too much because I don't get hit by another Frenzy Plant and I get hit by another Frenzy Plant like an idiot. So uh, I think I end up maybe losing this match. And I undercharge it, uh, and then, which does not absolutely nothing. Actually, because of the overcharge, I'm able to KO and I'm able to take the win. And that is the last match of the set. Uh, so thank you, Jeff, uh, for the team, J Cho. Really amazing. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.